Oh, how I've been waiting to do this one for so long. Now it's happening. <laughs> Intro. Salutations everybody, Benjamin Brain here, and uh, yeah, it's been a while. How you doing? I missed you. Today we're gonna learn how to create a good IGTV cover photo for your IGTV films. This IGTV tutorial is gonna take you step by step all the way from shooting the photo, what to shoot, how to shoot it, and leading up to editing and overall getting your IGTV cover photo out on your IGTV channel. Here is everything you need to know to create a good IGTV cover photo. Now before we get started on all the steps, there are a couple things to understand about an IGTV cover photo. And the first thing is it's super important. It's the first thing people see to determine whether or not they want to watch your video or skip by it. There are several places your thumbnail can be featured on IGTV. First, inside your IGTV channel on your profile. Second, in the browse section. Third, inside the IGTV page. And lastly, on your feed itself, if you choose to do so, by using the IGTV preview feature. If you don't know what that is or if you don't know how to do it, don't you worry home skillet. I have a tutorial on how to do just that link below. And it's because your IGTV cover photo can be seen in so many places, you want to make sure it's the best thing you can possibly create to attract more people to watch the videos that you work so hard to create. So with all my tutorials, my goal is to make sure I teach you the best way that I can and what better way to do that than hands on. So with that said, I'm gonna take you on location because I need to shoot an IGTV cover photo for one of my videos and you'll be able to see the entire process from start to finish. So let's go do that now. So we are here at the domain in Austin, Texas, mainly because, well, I live here, but more so for the first point in our tutorial, which is relevancy. The reason for relevancy is you got to go ahead and take a high quality image of whatever your subject is of your video. And if you're wondering how I did that fun trick, it's because I, I'm not shooting alone today. My man, Jared, the ATX Video Pro is here to uh, help me out today. So check him out on Insta, he's uh, right here. So when I talk about relevancy, I mean you need to take a photo of the subject of your video. So if you're doing a product review, take a photo of the product. If you're doing a tutorial for whatever, take a photo of whatever you're teaching. And if you are doing a vertical vlog about an Instagram bar you were invited to, well then you take a photo of that. So let's go do that. So something to think about when you're taking your photo is you wanna make sure you frame the photo either a medium shot, a long shot, or an extra long shot. And the reason being is for the crop factor that IGTV holds, which you'll see in editing. Also, you wanna make sure there's no cars in your shot. This is getting hard. Happy weather, right? It's hard for uh, me to tell what's in focus on this thing. Yeah. Oh, it's on manual? Yeah. So oh, no, you mean automatic. It's on automatic. Yeah, too. I was like, well, it's manual. <laughs> it's opposite day. You didn't know that? Yes. Something to note because the weather is so crappy, it's always good to have an ND filter because the UVs just stink. So for editing, this is going to be delightful. There it is. So. I got at least 20 shots. I can potentially use one of them. Let's go back into the studio and edit these guys. Back in the office, I uh, had to change my shirt because I had ketchup on it. Now I took a bunch of shots, but I already deleted the ones that were really bad. So we're gonna go over the couple that I have here and I'm gonna go over exactly why I feel some of them will look better on IGTV cover photos versus some that may not. So what you're looking at here is an extra long shot. This one was where you saw me across the street shooting it and I thought it would look good because of the sky. Now as the sky is really bad, I'm going to manipulate it in Photoshop because ew, that's really bad. It's just all gray and eerie and just, it's not a good look. The reason why I took it is because I always take an extra long shot just for variety purposes because because that safe zone on IGTV thumbnails is not the biggest, it's very tiny. So I wanted to make sure I got the Wonder Bar title in the middle of the cover photo. And here it is brushed up a little bit with my own color palette and things like that. I actually zoomed it in some because it was just a little too long. And here's another photo. This is kind of a medium close-up shot. And I thought this one would be really cool because it gives you a better dynamic of the Wonder Bar sign itself. Taking medium shots sometimes, depending on what you're shooting, it, sometimes you won't get into that safe so that I refer to with IGTV thumbnails or cover photos. They're all the same thing. The first thing you're gonna do is crop the aspect ratio of your IGTV cover photo, which is 1080 by 1680. So I'm gonna do that. There we go. 
tweak that some more, there we go. And then hit done. And then after that, just tweak it to your liking. Obviously you can see here, I popped in my color palette and stuff like that with my own LUT and fun stuff. So I think I got away with this medium shot. Now let me just adjust some fun stuff and voila, this was the final product after I popped it in a Photoshop, put a composited sky up there and just made it look a little more pretty. Trying to get those taps or clicks or whatever people do. It's a tap, it's a tap, it's not a click, it's a tap. Unless you're on the desktop, Never mind. Now what I'm gonna do is open up my IGTV cover photo, Photoshop, template, that's a lot to say. I've linked this Photoshop template for you guys down below in one of my other videos and I'll also do it here on this video. So what I do is open it up and pop in the cover photo that I just finished in Photoshop right here. Now I put it underneath all the layers so I can kind of see where the safe zone is. Now popping in my photo, you can see that in the safe zone, it's kind of on the bottom of the safe zone. Theoretically, I can just use this, but I wanna make this a little bit nicer. I wanna make sure it's more in the middle so people can see what the topic of my video is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust here a little bit, making it a little stretched out putting it just a bit more in the middle. I like that just a little bit better. Now, as you've already cropped for the aspect ratio of 1080 by 1680, you wanna make sure you export it within the same frame as well. So go to image sizing 1080 by 1680, pop it onto my IGTV video and whew, I shall wait for the clicks or the taps. The people are tapping, not clicking, not clicking. Unless you're consuming on desk, Never mind. Now keep in mind, my work show is primarily in Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you're a mobile creator just using mobile devices, I've also done thumbnails with mobile devices. If you want me to make a tutorial about that, let me know. Now one thing about IGTV cover photos that's kind of annoying is it looks different on whatever platform you're consuming IGTV on. So if it's an iPhone, an Android device, a desktop, any of the other ones that I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it sways a little bit depending on where you're looking at IGTV, which is kind of a bummer, but this Photoshop template does account for the majority of that. So as long as your important part is in the middle, in that safe zone, you'll be good to go. And one other thing I should mention is your cover photo is actually seen in search as well. So if you're searching for a particular video or if you're looking at it through hashtag searching, your cover photo will also be there if you use the IGTV feed preview feature. And because of that, you wanna make sure you pack as much information as you can, the relevancy of your photo into the safe zone as much as you can because if someone stumbles upon your video in search, they'll be more likely to tap on your video to view it because your thumbnail is just so awesome and they're seeing so much within that little teeny square. And so I hope all this was valuable to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I get to all the questions as much as I can. And keep in mind, whether you're editing in Lightroom and Photoshop or on your phone itself, a lot of this stuff still applies. The dimensions apply and obviously everywhere your cover photo is seen applies as well. Remember the safe zone, it's the biggest thing I've said safe zone like 8,000 times in this video. Safe zone, safe zone, safe zone, safe zone, safe zone. Now let's read some top comments from my last video, which was like, it felt like ages ago. Sorry I haven't been uploading. Client work just, whoa. This one was an IGTV tutorial teaching you guys how to use the widescreen feature that IGTV introduced. And the video before that, I was pretty bummed out about it. I'm not bummed out now, you know, just persevere. Support those widescreen creators. Nice, Ben. Chin up, push forward, just do your thing, my man, and all will fall into place. My man born writer, thank you. Not bummed out. Chin is up. Supporting widescreen creators, just supporting the IGTV-ness in general, but thank you. I created a landscape video, same duration like vertical. It sucks. I ended up deleting it. Let's keep with our vertical videos. Love your work. Fire, fire. Team Brandon from Tanzania, East Africa. That is amazing. That's like cross the street, right? Amani, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for that love. And yeah, we will keep on with our vertical videos. Videos. Nice to see you're not deflated about the widescreen issue and you're back to your cheerful self. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty bummed out about that other video, right? Thank you, my YouTube account. I see what you, I see what you did there. Nice. P.S. I'm very gullible and I don't really understand like any jokes ever. Ooh, a comment from Yoda. More types of vids is better types of vids. Yes. If you guys don't know who Daniel Pasquale is, go check him out, sub to his channel, watch all his stuff. He's like the most inspiring person ever amongst our community as YouTubers. And he's just awesome and he's the reason why I started vlogging again last year. Smash the like button if this helped you out. Just do me a favor and get after it. Subscribe if you feel inclined. Hit the notification bell to ring the ding ding stuff and see my videos when I'm able to make them. If they help you out, of course, you do what you do. I'm just here for you. I will see you on the next one. Peace. So for those who are not new to the channel, you're probably wondering uh, what happened behind me, right? It's uh, very colorful. Yeah, this was a nightmare of a project for me. It was very bad, very, very bad. It took me like six hours. This is a very tall wall, by the way. It's just, there's a vertical film coming out about it soon. Just look out for that. I'll see you. Peace.